Hello there. What's going on, everybody? Today, we're taking a look at X-Wing 2nd Edition Wave 4's Hyena-class droid bomber. This is early to us, thanks to Barnes & Noble. Uh, so if you haven't already, check your local Barnes & Noble. You might be able to try online, um, and uh, you have to pay through the... Uh, through the nose because they give no discounts and well, I mean there's ways to get discounts, but it's MSRP and yeah, I gotta pay shipping too So it's like woo Definitely would rather support my FLGS, but uh, Barnes & Noble is like a month early So we're gonna take a look at this. We're gonna pop this thing open and also want to remind you guys about the giveaway giving away $25 Amazon gift card and all you have to do to enter that is to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos and you can get an expansion of your choice or Put that towards something else as well. So we've got our cardboard and we've got our ship. And I'm also going to open this thing and we will start looking at this thing. These are stuff. That's one thing I honestly, X Wing, second edition, you made your ships so much harder to open up. Like you need like a quick release tab or something on these things. All right, all right, finally. Got it. Here. Whoa, let's not break it. There it is. Whoa. There is our hyena bomber. We've got our black and gray paint apps. We've got our separatist logo right there above the cockpit. We've got our red highlighting for the uh, for the droid's eyes. We've got some teeth marks on the uh, side, which looks cool. Underneath and on the bottom, we've got a little red dot on there. Some simple paint apps, but Simple but effective. There it is, folks. Now, let's dive in to the cardboard. All right, so we've got our cardboard out of the bag now. And uh, first off, you've got your little expansion pack contents thing. Now, while this isn't uh, as juicy, we do have some things that are important in here, such as um, we're looking at like things like the fuse marker and the rules for the electro proton bomb, which is going to be a big deal in here. It's a really, really cool bomb, uh, and we'll kind of see how that one works out. So, yes. All right, let's go ahead and uh, and then we've got our credits on the back. Thanks, everybody. All right. Now, oh, hey, let's see. So we've got this is the electro proton bomb. We've got some of the uh, bomblet tokens for bomblet generators. We've got our our our, our stuff there. Our, our Oh, look, we've got a different side, too. Oh, you know what? I I hadn't even realized that, because I haven't really played Bombers much in 2.0, but, like, one side has got the white mark and one side doesn't. And it just now hit me. Now, you guys have probably already known this for a while, but that's in case you guys are both running the same stuff. Uh, so, you know, you can differentiate between one player's bombs versus the other player's bombs. And that just seems like absolute common sense to me now, and I just I never even thought of that until this moment. We've got fuse markers right there. Uh, and then we've got our, uh, the rest of our, here's our dial. So if you want to take a look at that, uh, right. I'm loving that two talon roll. That's really cool. And, uh, yeah, so we'll make sure we don't lose our little peg and, uh, and let's look at the cards. So, and again, this is a, a, a two attack ship, no shields. So it's not going to be, you know, not going to be that crazy, but we've got uh, DBS 404 here. And, of course, they all have networked calculations also, which is really, really helpful. Um, and, you know, I, I love that that's going to let them work just with the regular, uh, the other droids already. And so they fit right into your existing swarm and keep the same synergy. Uh, but also, you know, they, they, have, uh, they have the reload ability, which is also very cool for your reloading your ordnance. Uh, they can barrel roll into target lock. Target lock is going to be very important for them. Um, and DBS 404 is while you perform a, uh, primary attacks at range zero, or you can perform primary attacks at range zero, so kind of like your Arvel Krind right here. And uh, while you perform an attack at range zero to one, you must roll one additional die. After an attack hits, suffer critical damage. So he don't care. He is just gonna gonna hit you and, and take some damage. Uh, and then we've got DBS 32 Charlie. Oh, by the way, you notice there's no reload here. We've got jam. So this is like also really a really cool thing. We talked about this in the in the preview article because I think most of the stuff that's here has already been uh, previewed. But DBS thirty two Charlie has got to, at the start of the engagement phase. You may spend one calculate token to perform a coordinate action. 
You cannot coordinate ships that do not have networked calculations. So he can support other bombers or he can support your regular uh, your regular droid fighters as well. So that's cool. But yeah, it's like you, in, in he, we haven't seen all the points and everything, but he'll likely have different upgrade slots as well. Uh, and a lot of these are going to have different upgrade slots, if I remember correctly, from the article. It's just a, one of those things that really annoys me that there's no app support out for this yet. We do have the bombardment drone. You can have three of those. And if you would drop a device, you may launch it using the same template. So you can drop stuff in front of you. Uh, we've got the Bactoid prototype. And there we go. Uh, and while you perform a special attack, if a friendly ship with networked calculations ship has the... Uh, Ship ability has a lock on the defender. You may ignore the focus, calculate, or target lock requirements of that attack. That's a nice thing, but it won't be as crucial because we have some things that we're going to see later on that are going to let us take target locks even during the engagement step, which is really cool. And this is a regular separatist bomber. And we have the Techno Union bomber. Or, e or the Techno Union will support your treaty. Oh, wow. That, I hurt my voice after trying to do that. All right. Um, so we have that. Now we got, well, let's look at upgrades. Uh, let's pull those out. Yeah. Wow, it's hard to do the Techno Union voice. Don't do that at home. Don't try, don't attempt this madness at home. We got passive sensors. This one, just, it, it's nuts. It's nuts, right? It's using the system slot. And, and, and no, no special requirements either. It's got a recurring charge. You can spend the charge. And you can only perform this action during your perform action step. And basically, uh, while your charge is inactive, so in other words, if you took that action... Uh, you cannot be coordinated. Before you engage, if your charge is inactive, you may perform a calculate or target lock action. So basically this is target locks during the engagement phase, which is really, really good for those lower pilot skills. I think this is one a thing that's going to make people want to buy a lot of this expansion, because I could see you know, running like four or five of these guys and just really having alpha, alpha strike shenanigans. Uh, trajectory simulator. You can launch bombs using the five straight. We've got the plasma torps, which are very effective. And uh, after they hit, the defender loses a shield. We've got barrage rockets using up two missile slots. And I don't believe every version of the bomber will be able to take those, only certain ones will. Uh, and we're gonna have to wait and see. Same thing with the diamond boron missiles using two missile slots. Three, ch three charge on here, three attack, two to three. And with the target lock, you can spend a charge. After this attack hits, you may spend a charge. If you do, each ship at range 0 to 1 of the defender with agility equal to or less than a defender's rolls one attack die and suffers a hit or crit for each matching result. So this is kind of like your the, you know, your 1.0 assault, uh, assault uh, missiles, so where you're hitting and ricocheting, hitting everybody else. We've got our relay here, TA-175. Uh, after a friendly ship at range 0 to 3, with Calculate on its action bar is destroyed. Each friendly ship at range 0 to 3 with Calculate on its action bar gains a Calculate token. So he's consuming the, the remains of his digital brethren. And uh, here is the Bomblet Generator. We've seen these before. It's always a nice one. Uh, but the really big bad was the Electro Proton Bomb. Very cool to finally have this and would love to check it out. you got to have Reload on your action bar. you got to be able to take mods and bombs so a lot of restrictions on this one and uh, it is a bomb it's only got one charge and it's unique so not only is it hard to take you can only have one and uh, you know, there's no way to recover it too this card's charge cannot be recovered uh, during the system phase you may spend a charge to drop it and then place a fuse marker so not only that but when you do drop it you put in a fuse marker on it so it's not even going to go off right away and of course it, you know we, we can reference the rules little booklet that comes with it to see what that thing does. Basically, uh, you, every ship, and it's range zero to two, so it's got super, super range. They can roll four dice and then apply the results. They'll lose shields for blanks, they'll gain ion tokens for eyeballs and hits, and they gain disarm tokens for criticals. So, this is going to mess up people's day, but you're broadcasting your intentions. They're going to get, uh, you know, uh, the, the token on there, so it's not even going to, it's not even going to detonate on the turn you drop it. Delayed fuses, and then you can make it detonate. You can delay it even more. After you drop, launch, or place a bomb or mine, you may place one fuse marker on that device. And then we've got our landing struts. Uh, they're open and closed. So we'll start. We start with them face up. 
while you execute a maneuver if you overlap an asteroid or a debris cloud and there are one or few other or one or fewer other friendly ships at range zero of that obstacle you may flip this card so you can't have two guys on the same one right when you flip now your landing struts are open and he's walking you ignore oh look at that we got the aat tanks in the background there maybe we're going to see tanks in x-wing right where you can just deploy tanks on asteroids i mean they did something like they did that with like atce walkers in the clone wars uh, so maybe we'll see something like that one of these days. It's kind of like what they were doing, right? You ignore obstacles at range zero, if you, uh, and while you move through them, uh, and after you reveal your dial, if you reveal a maneuver other than a two straight and are at range zero of an asteroid or debris cloud, skip your execute maneuver step and remove a stress token. If you revealed a right or left maneuver, rotate your ship in that direction. After you execute a maneuver, flip this card. So basically, you can just stand on the asteroid and just act like a stationary turret, which is very much like how, what a, uh, a tank on an asteroid would be. All right, guys, well, this has been the Hyena Bomber uh, unboxing list. Uh, let us know what you think. Leave me a comment. Let me know what of these devices, like how, actually, what I want to talk about with you guys is what do you think of, of the uh, Electro Proton Bomb? Uh, let me know in the comments. You can enter to win that giveaway. Also, stay tuned. That's going to run for about two weeks. So there's plenty of time to enter to win the giveaway. Um, yeah, Electro Proton Bomb, do you think it's going to see a whole lot of competitive play, or do you think it's going to be more of like a casual fun thing? Uh, I, I think it's going to be more of a casual fun thing. I just I think anytime you, you broadcast your intentions that much, uh, I, it's kind of hard to, to really deal with it. But we'll see. We will see. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Thank, big thanks to the patrons on Patreon. If you want to uh, help support this channel, there's links for all that in the description below. I want to thank all of my patrons very much. And thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.